Y'all, I originally made this video about unintentionally love bombing, and then I looked at the definition of love bombing and realized that is crazy! There is simply no way you could unintentionally love bomb someone, so yeah, this video is about like unpacking what it means to be a hopeless romantic and redirecting that towards a hopeful one who is secure. In three points. The first is falling for someone super fast without really knowing who that person is and giving a lot of yourself beyond what that person might be asking from you at the time of just early on meeting. It's being so eager to be in a relationship that you're trying with nearly anyone. And just because you have a few common traits with someone, like both liking empathy and both liking communication, doesn't mean that that's the right person for you you to be in a relationship with. You need to have a more specific reason why you are mutually compatible with them and that that bond is reciprocated. <laughs> clearly understood. There should be no confusion on whether you guys are on the same page. The second point is breaking down where this is probably stemming from, which at least for me and my personal experience is from being a super empathetic human being who really feels things deeply for yourself and how you can perceive how the other person might be feeling and wanting to deepen small connections that you could see. And so you really want to try. And it also doesn't hurt to think this way after all is maybe the logic because it increases your chances to try with more people that you might eventually fall into the opportunity of being in a relationship. So you constantly stay available to the opportunity by always sort of looking under a rock for where that next person could be. However, this brings us to point three of needing to course correct because this view of love in a hopeless romantic sense is really just a projection of a fairy tale belief of meeting someone and them being the one or that there's this instant connection. And it's like, no, that's that's like a vibe, that's like a crush, which is great, but you don't really know who that person is. It also puts a lot of pressure and expectation on the other person that they may feel like you're viewing them this way when they are just meeting you and trying to get to know you. Or maybe they're just being friendly and that was as far as they were seeing and you were like, let's go to the next level. <laughs> But worst of all, this ends up hurting you by doing this because you're putting so much of yourself into someone who might not have the capacity to receive you or might not have the desire as much as you do. And that leaves you in a place of not getting a full reciprocation of your feelings for them back towards you. And that's not really a healthy foundation for a relationship. And so the solution. In order for you to find the person that is truly correct and right for you specifically, you need to spend time with them. You need to gradually go deeper with them so that you can see their pattern of behavior and whether they're still feeling the same way about you as you did when you just met. Is it growing or is it fading? Is that person giving you all of your needs and wants or were they really alluring in the beginning and you were really infatuated with them? But when you think of the idea of making a commitment to them, are they the right person for you for that? Will you be getting all of the things that you need out of a relationship with that person? Or are you just excited over the idea of a relationship? at all. You should assess whether that person deserves to get all of the love that you're willing to put out towards them. If they're the right person, there's no need to rush. They're already there for you and it's just going to take time to deepen and grow that bond. But you don't need to feel fearful of whether they're going to leave. But that gets into abandonment, which is like a whole nother topic. So that's for another day. I hope this video helped and if it did, please like, subscribe, follow, and yeah, see you guys soon.